really quickly, this just came into my head. I, w- I want to ask you this too. Do you think Larry Fedora will have his job going in next year? I say no because they play at Duke. I don't think there's any way they win that game. Then it's Western Carolina at home, the second to last home game. Maybe they win that game. I mean, you you know, historically that'd be a game you'd think they'd win, but this team is bad enough this year that it could be a coin flip and then NC State, who's 21st in the country, no way in hell they're going to win that game. So yeah. realistically, realistically, you're looking at a 1-10 football team or a 2-9 football team. I don't see how Fedora could keep his job if you're a one or two win football team. Do you think he's he's here next year? Yeah, I think so. Just because that you you have, even though I don't agree with it, you have the argument that they've just been tremendously unlucky throughout the season. I think he's going to keep his job. I mean, the recruitment class again, like I've I've mentioned that a bunch of times in defense of Fedora, but I think his recruiting has been up to par and it can ju- if he can just have those guys play on the field for him while he's coaching and then maybe get one more recruitment class like he has a chance to rectify his past but I don't think he's going to get fired. Yeah. And and the one thing I wonder about too is what the players think of Fedora. I do um, wonder that. Obviously, we have no idea because no one's going to be an idiot and speak out against Fedora while he's the coach. And I don't even think if he got fired, because it's college, I don't think anyone would speak out against him. But is this a team that believes in Fedora and just believes that they've been unlucky or there's there one or two plays a game from being a good football team and they just need to stay healthy? Or do they see it as Fedora can't coach and they need someone new that can instill a new culture? Because you know, the one thing is this team hasn't given up. They haven't folded in. They've I think yeah, they, they've, yeah. they've had very competitive games. I mean, a lot of the past games, we've been in it. It's not, it hasn't looked like, oh, we just gave up uh, this tank season yeah. or anything like that. Like, It doesn't look like the players have turned in, this into a mutiny. I mean, they're competing hard every time. It's just that last little, the last few minutes of the game for us recently have just not been good. Yeah, and I... And that- and I respect the players a lot for doing that because they're competing every single day, every single Saturday. And you could tell this season was pretty much over two weeks in once they lost game two. It's similar to what happened with the Raiders, but and, and the Raiders are my other, uh, my other football team, both one and seven, and that team has completely given up. Um, they sucks. lost. Was it thirty-four to three, thirty-one to three to Cut Nate Mullins and the Niners? Yeah, y'all lost um, to the Niners, man. Yeah, it's with it's, the third string. It's tough, and and you know the one good thing about the Tar Heels, if you contrast it to the Oakland Raiders, is they haven't given up. You can tell if you watch the Oakland football is oh, the, the Raiders have a talented team. Obviously, talent wise, they're not the worst team in the league, but no one cares. They just lack effort they just don't give a shit anymore and they're a one in seven football team at least the Tar Heel and, and I think that's the one saving grace for Fedora is they're they're playing hard and they've had a lot of injuries so yeah. we'll see that's I, why I said they can make that the we're cursed argument or that they just have had really bad luck which is true they have yeah 